welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, I'm an esthetician, and today I will be reviewing the Kylie Skin Broad Spectrum Face Sunscreen SPF 40. So I've had this for maybe two weeks now. This is actually the first product from Kylie Skin that I've ever, ever, ever tried, like that I've purchased. I kind of like test them out at Ulta, but I've never actually bought anything from Kylie Skin or tried anything from Kylie Skin. I am super excited about this though because I have, you know, a lot of people ask me about sunscreen because I'm so passionate about it and it's hard to find sunscreens for darker skin tones. Something that doesn't leave a white cast that, can, that is good for any skin tone, like, and any skin type. And, like, there's just not a lot out there. I have been looking at, like, invisible sunscreens. Murad had one, but, like, years ago. Murad's had a clear sunscreen for years, but it was, like, 60 or 70 bucks for, like, you know. So I was like, <laughs> no. Like, on principle alone, I'm not spending $70 on that shit. I wanted this. The moment I saw that she was coming out with a sunscreen, an invisible sunscreen, I wanted it because I have wanted to try her products and it doesn't have um, fragrance or anything. I actually love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see more makeup, skincare, or beauty videos like this, also check out my Instagram. It'll be linked right here. I post usually like what I'm using, products I'm using, products I like, don't like, etc. Go check that out there and then check out my first product. I just launched my own skincare line and it is linked in the description. Make sure to check that out as well. This Kylie sunscreen is a clear gel, very similar to, it has like a primer feeling to it. And it looks like that. And it spreads out exactly like a primer does. It kind of feels like a little like, whew. It's that silicone slip, you know, that slippy silicone. And you guys can see like it leaves literally no residue whatsoever because it creates like a little bit of a film from that silicone. Think of like I said, a primer. It does blur the skin as well, a little bit. Not as good as like the Smashbox primer, for example, which I have here. Like that, it's a very similar texture. And that's because it's mostly silicone. But this is, you know, this is thicker and it's, whew, wow. That eliminates all the texture, bitch. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it, it must have like a higher concentration of silicone in it. It's in that area. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It must have a, like a higher concentration of silicone in it because this silicone isn't the first ingredient in the, in the Kylie one. The largest ingredient in here is called isodotecane, which I googled and colorless liquid. So this product is actually a solvent. Usually solvents aren't like the primary base of any formula. Okay, so the filters in this formula are mediocre. The reason why I say they're mediocre is because like they're not like all 100% A plus ingredients because the Ava Benzone they use, like Ava Benzone's a really filter. Um, it's a UVA, UVB filter. But of course, if you use multiple filters, like it's going to be more effective. So a lot of companies when they use chemical sunscreen will combine a lot of different chemical filters. Um, just to give you like the most well-rounded protection or it has four filters total. Ava Benzone, 3%, homosalate, oscillate and osic whatever the hell that is so these are the four filters that they use ava benzone is like definitely the most widely used and the safest and then the other ones are either three or four on a scale of like one to ten so not like horrible but like just a little bit like more evidence for hormone disruption and um other than that like the the other ingredients in this formula were very minimal um she uses ki kiwi seed oil in literally everything i don't know why they must just like have a lot at their lab and it is a marketable ingredient like because it has vitamin C. So, I mean, I don't know unless like she personally just loves um, kiwi seed, I don't know. The first ingredient like is just a little confusing to me because it's technically like a solvent and maybe because this is like such a pasty product, like this is such a pasty product that first ingredient listed is like, I just, I just personally don't understand how it's working in this formula. Like 
they say it's a solvent, but I think it's what makes up that slippery texture, but that's also a combination of the silicone. I know that's how silicone feels. So this is like, that's ingredient, that's the first ingredient, so it's in like the highest quantity. So usually like you'd be able to identify it in the formula, you know, but anyways, uh, and then silicone, uh, another type of silicone and some other ingredients, metal foam, shea butter, jojoba seed, what else? Tocopherol. Okay, so this is what the Kylie Skin website says. The highlighted ingredients, these are the highlighted ingredients. Metal foam is a something that's supposed to hydrate the skin. Then you have shea butter and two types of algae. The algae are really dense in minerals and nutrients for the skin. And then you have vitamin E and, is that it? Yeah, vitamin E. And then they also mention on the website, as you can see, it's fragrance free, it's reef safe for Hawaii. I don't know what impacts the reefs, is it? Oh, because the silicone, the silicone, doesn't that affect the reefs or something? Like someone, one of you guys told me that. That might be what this is about. And then it says non-comedogenic. It says our invisible SPF, our invisible sunscreen helps moisturize, smooth, and protect your face from UVA and UVB rays. Formulated with shea butter, kiwi, seed oil, vitamins, and leaves you non-greasy, silky to the touch, ultra lightweight, fragrance free. So yeah, that's that this one of the main reasons why I like this product is because I don't need to have like a dedicated moisturizer with SPF in the morning now I can use whatever moisturizer I want and layer this on top because it's completely transparent non-greasy it's invisible you don't have to like really even rub it in you just smooth it on like a thin layer and it's, it's an enhancement it's enhancing your natural moisturizer i actually love this product it is because it's like just a primer like in the morning i will use this and then this is nice because obviously you can use it as like your moisturizer so in the morning like if i'm not going to shower i'll use my drunk elephant micellar water and then vitamin c peptides and then this this is really easy to apply th reapply throughout the day too because it's not messy it goes in your skin like really really easily i actually have some makeup on but i'm going to reapply some on my forehead and see how it goes because it literally is just such a like it's such a um lightweight feeling product that like i put it right on top of my makeup and i just i didn't even have an issue like it didn't disrupt my makeup or anything Thing, and it just kind of like mattified the oil and like smoothed the pores out so it was like really good for a touch-up too which I haven't used this actually to touch up anything yet but um well it definitely just took my blush off that's annoying so now I have to do the other side too but now at least you guys got like a little demo and now all my makeup's off that's cool let's see if I can put my makeup back on it definitely smeared my blush and whatnot but it's okay you know I wouldn't if I had makeup on like that was just an experiment I usually like wouldn't recommend putting something like this over as like a reapplication method of sunscreen I always recommend like a spray one because first of all like you have, are your hands clean, you know, throughout the day? Like, are your hands clean enough to touch your face randomly? And then it's like, if you have makeup on, like the last thing you wanna do is smear something over it, like it's gross. But this actually is really good for touch-ups throughout the day, like if you're not wearing makeup, because it's clear, no residue, no grease. It's not like a moisturizer where you have to rub it in, you know, and make sure it's all rubbed in and like, not no white cast or anything like that. This is just like a really easy breezy, it glides right on no residue no grease no yuckiness and it provides like really comprehensive um filters chemical filters obviously if you're allergic to chemical filters or sensitive to them this wouldn't work for you this is strictly chemical not physical physical are things like um zinc oxide titanium dioxide it's 28 dollars on kylieskin.com it came so quickly it came before everything else that i ordered online and i was super happy about it so i am excited about this product and i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it was helpful don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye